Wandering Winder back to talk about some more previews from Dominion Hinterlands Second Edition Word 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 Word. Um, yeah, so today we're going to start with Nomads, which is replacing Nomad Camp, and Nomads is a four cost action plus a buy plus two money. And then when you gain or trash this, plus two money. Um, I'm going to make a comment about the art, and that's that it, um, it looks a lot like the art from, I think it's a Desert Guides, or maybe it's Camel Train. To me, just like off the top of my head, I haven't actually re-looked at that art. But anyway, uh, let's talk about the card. <laughs> Um, yeah, so plus a buy, plus two money, fine, not exciting. When you gain or trash it, plus two money, also fine, not exciting. I mean, it makes it cheaper to get extra copies of it, and I guess when you trash it, you can get some money, so probably does some stuff with trash for benefit, um, which makes it more playable in some, you know, some games where those cards are highly around. Um, you know, if you apprentice this, you're going to draw four cards and get two money, which is nice. If you salvage it, you're going to get, you know, six money. Um, but, well, and if you, like, remodel it into itself, you're going to get uh, four money, right? So that's, I guess that's a thing, like with remodels, it, um, but on the other hand, in that case, like, so if I remodel this into itself, I've effectively spent four cards from my hand, and what I've gotten is four money, so two cards for four money, it's like they were both silvers, and I had to line them up you're not going to get this card just for that purpose, really, I don't think. But if you already have this card, it might be something that happens, I suppose. I don't think this seems particularly strong. I'm not even sure that it's stronger than Nomad Camp. Because the gain to the top of the deck, while usually that was bad, um, just the ability to do stuff out of the opening was a point in its favor. Um, it probably is stronger overall, but mostly it's like if you need plus buy, you might get this. It's not a very good form of plus buy, I don't think, but it's there. Yeah, I don't have a lot to say about this. I don't think that this effect is um, a huge deal in a lot of cases. I think, I mean, the biggest thing is going to be I want to get it and something else. It effectively costs two this turn. Um, but kind of meh. Yeah. But sometimes you need plus buy. And you get this card. Let's move on. We've got Guard Dog replacing Duchess. In what way it replaces Duchess? It's a card now and Duchess isn't. They, they don't seem linked to me at all. Anyway, Guard Dog is a three cost action reaction. It says plus two cards. And then if you have five or fewer hand cards in hand, if you have five or fewer cards in hand, plus two cards. So you play this, it's kind of like Diplomat, right? You play this, uh, you have five or fewer cards in hand. After playing it, you, you draw two more cards. So I started with four cards in my hand. I played the Guard Dog. I drew two cards, and then, oh, I only have five cards in my hand. I drew two more cards. If you're getting that full value, that's pretty good, um, which makes it uh, kind of like Diplomat a bit draw to x -y. But unlike Diplomat, this isn't the village effect, um, which you're really hungry for in draw to x decks. So... Yeah, um, did I read the whole text of this card? So that's the, that's the action text. The bottom part is, when another player plays an attack, you may first play this from your hand. 
So, yeah, the, the top part, the top part is, I mean, it's always at least, a, you know, draw two, which is fine. Um, and sometimes you get to draw four. If you look at it as mostly a draw two, it can't be that bad, right? Um, but I don't think it's particularly strong. I don't think you can build around drawing four certainly like multiple times in a turn very often it will come up i'm sure um you know uh, artificer comes to mind as a card that might be able to take advantage of this some but you're going to need village you're going to need some support for it quite a bit of support you may play this for you may first play this from your hand is a little bit of a weird wording to me but i guess it's i mean the other reactions aren't worded that way. You just, you do them first anyway, right? Like, you reveal the horse triders first, and then you get the reaction effect. You don't, whatever. I mean, I guess I get what's happening. It's just an unusual feeling wording to me. Um, this is not good against discard attacks in that sense, um, because you're going to draw and then have to discard down to, well, most of the discard attacks anyway. You're going to draw, and then you're going to have to discard down to three still, um, which is not where you want to be. Um, I guess some there, there are more of the discard attacks that aren't discard to a number now, and they're more just, if you have enough cards, discard one, in which case this, is, this could be good. Um, particularly if you're getting like stacks of those. I don't know. But it's not, in general, feeling great against discard attacks. Um, against junking attacks, sure, you can react to play this, and that basically makes it like non-terminal. But I don't know how exciting that is exactly. Um, and playing this, uh, so so against a discard attack, you you may want to not react it so that you can then play it early in your turn and draw many cards, I guess is the big thing to note here. Um, this seems fine, but like we've gotten a lot of these moats that sometimes do more, Diplomat, Sheepdog. This seems like it's probably the weakest of them to me. Um, it's still fine, but it's not exciting. Um, you, you're going to play with it a decent amount but the extra bells and whistles on it are only going to be I think marginal in most cases so anyway let's move on to what I think is the most interesting card of the day cash is getting replaced by S Souk Souk no Souk for you I I'm going to end up like, I don't know, Embargo isn't around anymore, but somehow, somehow with uh, whatever the contraband replacement is, I'm going to ban this card at some point and say, No Sook for you! Um, which is probably a horrible, horrible... Uh, I, I may not say that, because, I don't know, somebody might get offended or something, but um, it's what... The, I don't... I don't think I've seen, I have probably seen this word before, but it's not a common word. It looks like somebody's misspelled soup, which obviously they haven't. Um, but, you know, I, I, it's not a word I come across very often. Anyway, let's look at the actual card. It's a five cost action. It says plus a buy, plus seven money, but then minus one money per card in your hand. You can't go below zero. When you track, when you gain this, trash up to two cards from your hand so it's up to two which means it's not mandatory which means it's not gonna hurt you too bad like oh I only have provinces in hand you can still gain these you do get to trash if you want to which is nice um, if you're trashing like coppers with it then it effectively costs more than five but you do get some trash off the yeah the plus seven money and then minus one per is reminiscent to poor house um compared to poor house so if you're doing one of these draw your decky kinds of things uh you may not have too many cards in your hand 
Although, if you have to green over multiple turns, or if you're playing multiple of these, or if you still have some treasures, it's not going to make that much for you. Um, and the inability to stack a lot of these is, I think, going to make it hard to do a mega turn thing like you would with, say, bridge. Like, five of these, five bridges makes you a lot of money for buying a bunch of provinces. Five of these makes you seven six five four three makes you 25 money which is still a lot but you know that's triple province and then the next turn if you've drawn your deck five of these makes you uh well they each make you what three less so it overall makes you 10 which is a lot less than 25 so i, I don't think that's going to be a thing very often um, I, I should say, obviously there are cases where you can get around that. If you have ways to discard cards, the aforementioned Artificer, or Horse Traders, Storeroom, that kind of thing. Um, those could be friends with this in those kinds of decks. But I also think, um, and, and, and the trashing is, is probably good in, in a good amount of cases. Trashing two cards on Kane is a really, really powerful effect. Um, really powerful effect. Um, not great for opening because I have five coppers in my hand, so I don't get to trash anything. But like turn three, turn four, you're going to be able to trash an estate, sometimes two estates if you're very lucky. That kind of thing. Um, turn five, turn six, getting a couple of these to thin and then his decent payload is good. But I think that actually might be particularly good for um, like these money decks. So in a money deck baseline, you're gonna have four other cards in your hand. Uh, if you have four other cards in your hand, this is effectively three money in a buy, which is, well, it's not completely amazing. It's quite, it's you know, it's, it's good for a five cost in a money deck. And getting the trash, and if you're trashing an estate, or particularly if you're trashing two estates, that's very good for a money deck. Um, so like you're not going to go overboard on these but getting some and then uh, you know it also works well with um, some of the other cards that you might have um, some of these trash for benefit kind of cards that are going to remove cards from your hand displace um, junk dealer I mean there is some some tension there in that it a lot of this is trashing and those cards are also some trashing forager um, they're effectively thinning in a lot of cases um, I guess the displace one is kind of nice or or sanctuary similarly bounty hunter in that they yeah they're reducing your hand size they're also getting those provinces out of your deck so that they're not in your way here um, I think this card is good you don't want to go overboard on it. You can't do too much with it. But the on the on gain effect is very strong. The on play effect, yeah. Um, oh, I guess capitalism is another thing to 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 talk about with this. That way, you can still have other treasures. You play them all first. You play this last, and it's going to make more money. Um, yeah, uh, uh, this card seems good. It is mostly payload, but the on gain is some deck control. And this card seems quite strong. Um, not like, oh my gosh, it's the strongest payload ever, but still quite strong. Um, yeah, I think that about does it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with the last few previews. Let me know what you guys, gals, peeps, think in the comments section. Um, did I miss something? Is there a cool interaction, etc., etc.? But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.